Hello and uh, welcome to the video for this listing. It's a Panasonic Lumix TZ70 compact camera and I'll just run through the accessories of what you get with it. So there's a brand new carry case which uh, is rather snug in there. That's a, almost a perfect fit and the camera squeezes in there and there is a shoulder carry strap as well. The tripod is metal made by Hammer. It's a little three-legged tripod for desktop use and also you can hold it for videoing and uh, just basically selfies and that sort of thing. It's quite useful actually. It's, uh, it's a bit more to it than what you think. Uh, there's the tripod mount on the base which uh, that screws into. There's a 16 gig card micro and full size combined with the adapter. So you uh, you either select which one you want and use the adapter. This is the USB micro charging lead. Um, it's called a UCE6 and it just requires a 5 volt power supply and you just pop it into any sort of power brick and um, that will charge the camera via the charging circuit built in and the little red LED illuminates as per the picture. So charging circuit in the camera, no need for external charger. Uh, these are for the tripod, this is just a phone mount and this is for your phone as well, it's a little Bluetooth clip. Um, they just come with the uh, tripod, but it does do volume as well actually, which is pretty handy. Then on to the camera. So we have a, uh, a 12 megapixel camera here and um, amongst that TZ range of the 60, 70 and 90, is there an 80? There is an 80 I think. Uh, this is rated quite highly actually, it's, I think it's better than the one above it uh, because of the uh, 12 megapixel sensor. You get more uh, light uh, per sensor so you actually tend to get better images with it. Um, the overall condition, I've rated it 8 out of 10 mainly because there's just a little bit of rash around the back screen, it's not too bad. Uh, maybe if I turn the screen off, you might be able to see it a bit better. So there's a thumb thumbprints, but that's uh, a little bit of a rash. And it's only acrylic, they almost scratch as soon as you look at them really, but uh, it's uh, not bad condition. You do get an electronic viewfinder, which is dead handy. Ooh, that's the multi-burst, I thought you might want to hear that. It shoots a load of frames per second. Um, so if you offer your thumb up to the sensor there, it automatically turns the viewfinder on. In this instance, we've got it uh, just on manual because of the switch, but you can just about make out the viewfinder glowing away in there. And there's the tiniest little dioptric wheel for uh, changing your focus depending on your eyesight. Um, let's go back to the live view and let's go on to just automatic, but uh, manual, there we are, it's A1, that's it. So, um, Offer it up to the uh, model there and then just press the button and it takes the shot. There's a built-in flash, does macro automatically as well if you look lovely and clear and precise even at very very close proximity. Uh, we've got Wi-Fi, we've got function buttons, we've got a rotating dial here, we've got a rotating dial around the actual lens itself for adjusting uh, various settings as well. You can use it for the zoom and we've got a menu and it's not touchscreen but it does all operate from these north, south, east, west buttons and the rotating dial. Um, all the buttons are pretty clean actually, I mean there's a little bit of wear, it's been used but it's not too bad in order. There's just a few minor scuffs to various corners here and there, I've tried to picture them, but nothing really bad at all. Uh, the lens itself though is in great condition, let's just see if we can uh, try and avoid reflections. I'll tell you what, I'll spin it around if that's any good. But it's, uh, it's not scratched and there's not much in the way of any uh, dust or dirt in there. It's nice and clean. And it does extend out. Let's uh, just show you the extension. So it goes out a fair old way to give you that 30 times super zoom on this camera. Uh, stereo microphones, I believe there's a built-in speaker there. We've got a wrist strap as well, so you can carry it nice and easily. That's the uh, sockets for um, charging and HDMI and a dedicated record button here. There's the shutter. So um, anyway, I hope that's uh, pretty much explained most of it. It's nice and clean on the base as well. It's not had a tripod on it, which has scratched it all up. The lens makes no horrible noises. It's exactly as it should be. And when it closes up, it shuts down and puts the cover across. So it's nice and easy in that respect. Pop it in the bag and you've got yourself a very competent little travel companion there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.